What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 video. Today I'm back on the ladder and I have to apologize for how slow video has been coming out lately. Uh, I've been really busy with school and hopefully I can still continue to put out videos consistently, but I'm going to try to get back on that one video a day thing. Uh, and yeah, today we're going to be trying out a team sent to me by Low Tier Jonah who is a guy who just likes to use some low tier mons and he sent me this team. I have the EVs as well, I can put them in the uh, description down below, but uh, this is going to be a Grassy Seed Unburdened Coaching Hitmonlee team, which I think sounds really cool. And with Ho on the team, it just seems like a really awesome combo. If you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And answer my comment question of the day. Guys, if we're if we were to get a new thing announced on Pokemon Day, which is in a couple of days here, would you prefer Diamond and Pearl remakes or for the last couple of Pokemon to be patched into Sword and Shield and then Diamond and Pearl remakes or whatever games come next uh, next year? Let me know. I, I, I am curious. I kind of don't care which one we get. I just want something. <laughs> That's my whole deal. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Something I want to address as well is I've been really, really avoiding making in-game content lately just because I don't like doing in-game content for some reason. I don't know. Uh, I always find it more fun to play on Showdown when it comes to restricted formats, and because of that, like, I've decayed a ton. Like, I hardly play on the ladder anymore. I think I've played, like, a total of, what, like, 12, 13 games? But, yeah. Oh, let's see, uh, let's see what we got here. I'm a little tired today. I have to admit, I'm a little tired. Um, it, the weather has been phenomenal lately where I live. Like the past couple of days, we went from like negative two degrees to 30 degrees. And then now, now today it's like 50 degrees. So I went for a like one hour walk this morning and now I want to go for uh, a run. Like as soon as I'm done with my workout today, I'm just going to end it with a run. It's been so nice. Like I am just excited for spring finally. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, let's, let's see what we can do here. As we are facing a Dialga team, Looks like pretty standard Dialga, except uh, leaning less on Trick Room and more on just fast offense, from what I can tell. Could be like Fake Tears, Tailwind, Whimsicott. I think for this team, um, I definitely want to lead off... I could lead off Hitmonlee, to be honest. Hitmonlee seems pretty scary for them. And if I remember correctly, Hitmonlee actually has a decent amount of special defense. Let me look at the EV spread here. Uh, the Hitmonlee is running... 220 HP, 4 special defense. So maybe I'll actually lead off that way. And I could go with the... I think I could go Hitmonlee and Rillaboom on lead. Because they're nice for the end game. In the back, I want to bring Ho-Oh. And I think my last Pokemon... Um, I'd be hard-pressed to find a better Pokemon than Incineroar. But I think Tapu Fini might actually be better now that I think about it. Just because Tapu Fini is able to switch in a lot of Pokemon on this team. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with that. Uh, Tapu Fini is really, really nice for Dialga matchups since, yeah, you do take neutral damage from uh, the max steel spikes and stuff, but beyond that, it isn't too much of a big deal. And I don't know how many games I'm gonna win today. I am so out of practice when it comes to, like, just actual in game stuff. I'm just gonna try to enjoy myself, try to record a video, have a nice time with this team. And you said, like, this team isn't meant to be taken terribly seriously, you know? It's just meant to be a, a fun little thing. All right, so it feels pretty obvious to me that they are going to go for likely a Tailwind into a Max Move into the, uh, probably into the Hitmonlee to be honest. I could go for a Coaching and just send in the Ho-Oh immediately. Because if they go for a, if they go for a Dragon Move, I'll end up with like, you know, a, a net gain with Defense with Coaching. Uh, and if they go for a Tailwind, I'll still outspeed everything, I think. Because how much speed does this thing have? It has 116 speed. Or no, that's not it. <laughs> it has 36 speed, so it hits 112. I'm kind of tempted just to go for the Coaching and get in the... Uh, I think I'm just going to get in the... The ho here. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Dialga doesn't have too much to hit this team with. I definitely don't want to take a Moonblast, but I feel like they would always go for a Tailwind here. If not, just like a straight-up Fake Tears. And a Max Wormwind would make a lot of sense here, to be honest. 
Probably into the uh, the Hitmonlee. As they go for the Protect, which is amazing. <laughs> that gives me an extra turn to use this thing. Hopefully they went for a Seal Spike. If they went for a Steel Spike, this is actually a really nice turn. Yep, there it is. Who is it into? Into the Hitmonlee. Can I take that? Oh, yeah. Dude, Hitmonlee actually has really solid special defense. I forget what the exact stat is. What is this? Let me see. Can I see it on the screen? Uh, they don't have it on the screen, but... I forget what the, what the exact stat is, but I remember, like, just the Hitmons having good special defense for, like, no reason. Uh, I'll go for another coaching here, and I'll actually just go ahead and Dynamax and go for this Max Airstream into the Whimsicott. Um, I don't really mind the Max Wormwind. Yeah, I really don't. Um, as long as like I end up with a neutral attack stat, I'm, I'm cool with whatever. And depending on this Whimsicott, it could be like the slowest Whimsicott ever. <laughs> I might actually be able to outspeed it this turn if it wants to, or not not outspeed it, but like, if it goes for a Tailwind, uh, if the dial goes slower, I might be able to outspeed it still with my Umbird and, uh, and be able to attack here, go for a second coaching. As they go for a Tailwind, let's see if I'm going to outspeed this Dialga. I do not. Oh, I think we learned that last turn. No, we didn't. Okay, so this is actually fine. This is actually pretty fine, because what I can do now is now that I've gone for that max airstream, I am going to outspeed this Whimsicott because of Unburden and I'm at plus one. What I can do is go for a max guard on my ho -Oh. And if it's not, I'm assuming it's Focus Sash. If it's not Focus Sash, this doesn't matter, but oh wow, it wasn't. Was that a check button? I don't know, um, but what matters is my hit only is really fast. What I was gonna say is I could actually go for a max guard on their final max Wormwind and then um, just protect and go for whatever. Like, protect my ho and go for, like, a close combat into the Whimsicott. I don't know. It just it just felt like the right play there, but... <laughs> I suppose they weren't actually Focus Sash. Uh, and I am going to outspeed this lander, so I could just go for another coaching. And I should outspeed everything, actually. I can go for another coaching and another max airstream and be fine. What am I going to be at? I'm going to be at, um... I'm going to be at plus one... And I should easily be able to take this, so I'll go for another coaching. Another max airstream into the Landorus. Yeah. Uh, Hitmonlee should outspeed everything on the field, even though Tailwind's active, since he's at plus one speed with Unburden. So a third coaching <laughs> into this ho -Oh. If they go for a max Wormwind, I don't care. This was more for the defensive boost. So I should be able to take a Rock Slide if they decide to go for it here. There it is. Yeah, easy. Easy. Go for this Max Airstream, and... What is the speed on this ho -Oh? It's only 12 speed ho -Oh, so my play next turn is just to close combat this Landorus, I think. And I do have Recover on this, uh, on this ho -Oh. How many turns of Tailwind are left? They have two turns left of Tailwind, so... Um, yeah, I think my play here... Oh, wait, no, I can Wide Guard. Oh, my God, I forgot I had Wide Guard. Let me Wide Guard here and go for another Max Airstream into the... Uh... I actually go for this one into Landorus, yeah. And as long as the Draco Meteor doesn't KO this thing, I, I should be fine. Because they're still going to outspeed me. Roar of Time. Okay, that's going to hurt. <laughs> but I survive. Awesome. And he has a cooldown next turn, if I remember correctly. Turns out they're not max speed lander, so that was kind of a wasted wide guard. Uh, but it's whatever. I can always go for a protect here and then recover on the next turn. I think Roost is better for Ho on this team, to be honest. Uh, just because you get the grassy turn recovery and stuff, but recover's fine. Like, I believe there's more recover PP than Roost PP, but I'm not, I'm not certain. And there's the Urshifu. I'm going to go ahead and predict them to want to go for a Sucker Punch here. I 
I can just go for this uh, close combat into the Urshifu. Or actually, what's my Hitmonlee's attack stat right now? It's neutral, right? But I have a ton of defense. No, I'm at plus... No, I'm at minus three attack. Am I? Yeah, I'm at minus three attack. When'd that happen? Haven't I been coaching this whole time? Hmm. Lame. All right. Um, I suppose my play here is to get out of there. Just to get out of there. Let me get in the Tapu Fini. And uh, I can try to recover here on their Sucker Punch. Since Dialga shouldn't be able to move. I believe that's what Roar of Time does, right? It's like Hyper Beam, but Dragon type. Oh, I forgot. I, I don't know why. I thought coaching was like for both Pokemon. It's only It only targets one. I always forget that. Because I, I think of it like Howl. I always think of it like Howl. So that was a really interesting play, uh, going for the Protect on the uh, final turn of Tailwind there. But uh, I should be able to go for a Muddy Water here. As well as a... Sacred Fire can miss, right? Yeah, I'm just going to go for a Brave Bird into the Urshifu then. Uh, there shouldn't really be a way I lose to Dialga. Especially with him only in the back, so Brave Bird. As they are Focus Sash, which we could pretty much identify by the fact they protected. And they go for the Wicked Blow. Always going to be into ho -Oh there because, you know, I have like plus whatever defense. Like, they, they don't want to deal with that, but I should be good to go as long as I connect this Muddy Water onto the Urshifu. Yep. I didn't really care too much about connecting it onto the Dialga. Like, it's it's pretty much game at this point. Unless they have Thunderbolt. That'd be annoying. Flash Cannon. No, we're good. We Gucci. Get that Leftovers Recovery. Alright, and uh, I believe my play here is actually pretty interesting. Uh, I want to avoid this thing being able to activate a weakness policy with my uh, Hitmonlee coming in. So what I'm going to do is actually fake out and Calm Mind this turn. Uh, and then on the next turn, I'll just go for a knockoff onto the Dialga. And that should make it a lot easier in case... You know, because they, they have what? They have positive defense right now, right? Yeah, they have positive defense, so they'll probably be able to take a close combat. So I'll Calm Mind here, get some recovery, go for a fake out on the Dialga. And then I'll knock off what's likely going to be a weakness policy. As they go for a protect, doesn't matter. Calm mind up. Alright. Get some recovery there. And now I should be able to just go for a... Uh, a Moonblast into a knockoff, and it should do a decent amount of damage. And we're getting tons of recovery, too. Whoop. Moonblast. Knockoff. And then when Hitmonlee comes in, it just wins. Nice. That's really good damage. They go for the Flash Cannon into the Tapu Fini. Doesn't do too much. And let's see if we called the item right. Yep, there it is. Okay, yeah, we just win now. So my play here is just to go for a Moonblast into a... Uh, a Grassy Glide wouldn't do too much. I believe, <laughs> funny enough, I think a U-Turn does more. So Moonblast, and uh, actually I'll just go for a second knockoff. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. They go for a Protect. Trying to get some more recovery. I really don't care because I got just as much recovery on my Tapu Fini. Matter of fact, to get more because I have leftovers and grassy terrain. Where they just get the grassy terrain. Alright. I'm not really sure what their endgame is here. I don't know what they really expect to accomplish. So let me go for another Moonblast. And another knockoff. And I think that'll actually just do it. Nice. Okay, cool. So we managed to pick up a win there.
Actually, a really solid game for the uh, for the Hitmonlee. I actually enjoyed that quite a bit. Let's get one more. I'll, I'll do one more video. Like I said, like I don't enjoy in-game content too much unless it's like a really crazy team. Oh, I forgot to say that part. If it's like a really crazy team, I'm down to make in-game content. Do me a favor, guys. If you have any crazy teams, comment them down below. Like, just send them to me. Uh, let me look. That was that was an interesting whimsy guy. Yeah, it was a jack button. Crazy. That could have gone really bad. Um, also, light screen. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, if you guys have any crazy teams, comment them down below. Oh, and I forgot to plug my merch, I think. Uh, there's only a couple of days left on the merch. Three days, I believe. If you guys want to pick up your shirt or hoodie or whatever you want, it'll be in the description down below. Only three days left on that if you want to support the channel and wear some fashionable clothes. As we face Joshua. God, my ranking looks so bad. Especially if I'm a YouTuber, this looks so bad. <laughs> and it looks like we're facing uh, Lapdog, but a variation that uses Zamazenta. Uh, I invented that. That's my team. That's, that's, that's my team. I think what I want to do here is... I mean, I actually really like the Rillaboom lead here. I think I just do a similar thing as that I did last time. Ho in the back. And I think my last Pokemon, uh, it depends if this is crowned or regular Zamazenta, which we can actually check. We can check um, with with the uh, <laughs> with this little trick I'll show you in a minute here. But I think my last Pokemon, hmm. I think I have to go Tapu Fini again. So the exact same squad. I almost picked Incineroar, but... I think we're better off with Tapu Fini. So yeah, I'll show you a quick trick here. So when we get into the battle, what I can actually do is look at their Pokemon, like look at their Pokemon stats. And if the Zamazenta changed forms, it'll actually let me know that they did bring the Zamazenta to the match. Now, of course, this, this could all be very useless if they ended up leading off Zamazenta, in which case I feel stupid, but it's it's whatever, you know, it's it's whatever. All right. Incineroar Landorus. That's fine. So they lead off double Intimidate. Get my Grassy Surge up. Luckily, both my Fake Outs are faster. Okay. Now, they could Dynamax, which would be really, really annoying. It'd actually be pretty annoying, to be honest. Um, and they did bring the Zamazenta to the match, and you can tell that by the fact that it changed form. So, Zamazenta's in the back, and I'm going to say their last Pokemon's probably going to be that Lapras. Um, I think I'm going to go for the double fake out, and if this doesn't work out, I'm in, I'm in really, really big trouble. So, I'll just double fake out here. They withdraw the Incineroar. Let's see if they Dynamax this uh, Landorus. That's the one thing I'm fearing. Dynamax Landorus is really, really annoying to face. With this team in particular. Ah, there it is. You can tell by the way the game slowed down for a minute. I'm like, mmm, they Dynamaxed it. They Dynamaxed it. I mean, they're just going to go for a Max Airstream. I have to be really careful with Max Rock Balls, though. Now, I believe I still outspeed this Landorus with my Hitmonlee, so I'm hoping they took out the, uh, <laughs> I'm hoping they took out the Rillaboom, if anything. Yeah, look at that damage. Solid damage. Nice minus one fake out. As they go for the Hitmonlee, unfortunately. No coaching shenanigans for me. And, uh, these things always carry Max Rockfall, so... Huh, how do I do this? I might just lose. That is a possibility here. Hmm. I could go into Tapu Fini and do a solid amount to it. Hmm. I think I'm going to go Tapu Fini here. Okay, get some Misty Surge. And a max Airstream would make sense. 
But they could also go for a Max Quake. And that would just be to prevent my Max move from doing too much to them. Hmm. I kind of want to double out into Ho-Oh, but I feel like that's not a good play. Uh, I'll go Ho-Oh here. And... Ah, this is actually really risky. I think I have to Dynamax and just go for the Max Geyser. Into the Lando. If they go for a Behemoth Bash or a close combat into the... Uh, into the Rillaboom slot, that'd be ideal, but I really doubt they did here. Yeah, it's pretty unlikely. So they go for a coaching. Ah, a man of taste, I see. <laughs> a man of culture. Now that's likely into the Finny. Which I'm disappointed because I almost doubled into Ho and that would have done so much for me. Maybe I can crit. That'd actually be really solid. Yeah, we don't do too much. Now, sign to note is I am 100% within range of Behemoth Bash at this point. I could try to do something cheeky. I could, like, just try to go for a, a Sacred Fire Burn on this guy and protect. I think that's what I have to do. And if they doubled into the Finny, that'd be the best, but <laughs> I really doubt I'm going to win this one now. They go for a coaching. Let's see if they max Airstream. It would make the most sense for them to max Airstream the Finny. Uh, nope, Max Rock fall onto the Ho-Oh. They called my bluff. Well, goodbye, Ho-Oh. And goodbye to this match. We are most certainly not winning at this point. Or actually, maybe. It's it's not impossible, but it's really, really unlikely. Um, my Grassy Glide has to crit this thing. Get in the Rillaboom. Let me think. How can I win this? Um, They could go for a fly with their Lando to avoid damage. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to fake out the Zamazenta and go for a Max Geyser. Assuming that they just flew with their Lando to flex. As they withdraw. Yeah, I guess that makes sense too. Go for the fake out, go for the max geyser. This shouldn't do too much, to be honest. Oh, it actually does a solid amount. Okay. Critical hit, that's why. I was like, why'd that do so much to a Zamazenta? That makes no sense. Because I haven't set up at all with the Finny. But anyways, yeah, I don't see this one going in our favor here. Uh, losing Hitmonlee so early definitely was detrimental. Uh, but I think I'm just going to forfeit at this point. Like, there's really no point in playing this one out. Anyways, I, I do think this team is actually really interesting. Uh, Hitmonlee has... I mean, doesn't Halucha do this too? I, I guess Hitmonlee's like one little niche is being able to be a really fast fake out unburdened user while also getting coaching. So that's something interesting. Um, I'm pretty certain. I'm pretty certain that Halucha also gets coaching and is a bit faster, but I don't know. I'm gonna have to check that one. But if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC content. Answer that comment question of the day that I asked you earlier once again. Do you guys want Diamond and Pearl remakes or for the Pokemon just to be patched in the Sword and Shield? And just, you know, generally leave a comment down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.